welcome back to our channel. Oh my goodness, it's so good to be back. Those of you who read the description box of my last video, you will know that Nisa and I and our family were in Hawaii for two weeks, almost two and a half. It was amazing. We had a blast. You know, now we're home. It's hard to get home, back to reality. But the best news is, is we got a new microphone. So that's why this video today is not a voiceover. It's a talk through, which I'm so excited because, you know, when I'm doing the vo voiceover, there's so much that I want to say, but I only have a short clip of time. And so, therefore, I don't always get the message across that I want to or the hint or the tip that I'm trying to convey. It just doesn't happen. Anyway, I was inspired by a pic on Instagram, of course, and this is what I came up with. You'll see throughout the video that I had some trouble with a lower lash line issue. My fake lashes are acting up. It's time for a new pair because, like, the glue is gunking up, and I ran out of my black glue, so now I only have the clear glue, so it looks kind of funky, so that's why I will not be taking my go-to looking down photo because you can see it. It's awful. I hate it. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I did enough of that in this video. Thank you guys so much for pressing play. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know if you like um, the talk through if you want us to go back to the voiceovers. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys. Hi guys. Long time no see. It's been a long time since I've talked during one of my videos. I almost don't even know what to do with myself. I don't really know the look that I'm going for right now. I really just wanted to sit down and really film something and just kind of, now that um, we got a new microphone, I want, I want to be able to talk to you while I do my makeup because it's so hard when you're doing a voiceover, whoops, to be able to say everything I want to within that short period of time since I only show a few clips of each step of my makeup. Which also is probably the reason why voiceovers are so much longer than, um, or no, talk through videos are so much longer than voiceover videos. I used a facial oil on my face and I hope it absorbs because I probably shouldn't have done that before I was about to film, but oh well. Anyway, so let me know what you guys like more, the voiceover, me talking to you. While I'm actually filming sometimes, I think of things that I want to say, that I forget to say once it comes time to do my voiceover. So I'm just going to prime my lids right now. I have a few inspiration pictures. I really like finding inspiration on the, on the internet because I can fall into the same ruts so quickly with my own makeup. So it's nice to see what other people do to kind of give me a little kick in the behind to try something new, try something I wouldn't do, although what I'm doing today is a very, it's not out of my comfort zone per se, it's not something I've done before, but you know, it's very sticking with the browns and the reds, and but I'm trying to add a pop of color in there. Well, the reason why we can do talk throughs now is because we purchased a new microphone. Uh, the one we had before was not the best, We I wasn't so happy with it. And then it stopped working. After the move, I maybe got to use use it for one video, and then after that, it was done. So I really wanted to find one that canceled out the focusing sound of the lens. I tested this one out. I don't think it does, but whatever. I tried what I did. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do today for my eyes is like a smoky, like a smoked out red upper lid, and then a smoked out green lower lash line. So I have a lot of products that I want to use, ones that I probably won't get to today. So I'm just going to go in with the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Creme Brulee. And I'm just going to take that on my Sigma E40. I'm going to put this in my crease. So if you guys watched um, my last makeup tutorial, I had mentioned in the description bar that Nisa and I and our family was in Hawaii. We were there for two, about two weeks. We went because my cousin graduated from high school. If you followed us on um, our social media platforms, we posted a lot of pictures. We posted a lot of Snapchats. 
we were in love with it there and it was so hard for me to come home. I told Greg we need to move there. We need to work our booties off, save a bunch of money and move there. So we did a lot. I'm trying to think of some of the things we did. We hiked to a waterfall, which um, my close friends and family know that I am not a hiker. The one time I hiked, like, screwed it up for me. I was dehydrated. I didn't eat before because I was a loser. And I passed out on the mountain, and the fire department had to come get me. I was done with hiking after that. I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. Okay, I'm going to take another blending brush. I'm going to take my Morphe 5, M504. This is, um, this came in my Jaclyn Hill brush set. Those of you who know me know she's my queen of life. So when they collaborated and did a brush set together, you knew I had to buy it. So it's like just a little bit more tapered. It comes to a little bit more of a point. So I'm going to take that with the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Sienna, I want to say. No way off Morocco just to add some color okay so Hawaii we went snorkeling we went to, my cousins live on Oahu so we went to Oahu so we went to Hanamana Bay we went to Manoa Falls that's the waterfall we hiked to Hanamana Bay is there um is that's where we went snorkeling is Hanamana Bay we went to a lot of beaches it was like a new beach every day just relaxing we went to the market. They have a market which is like their version of a swap meet, but it's in their um, it's in their stadium parking lot, and that's that's the place that you should go to if you want to get like souvenirs, because you could literally ha see a souvenir like in a store, and it's three times the price that you could find it at the market. That's the place to go if you ever want to get souvenirs from Hawaii. So we did that a couple times. I'm trying to think what else we did. I'm like drawing a blank. We did a few different hikes. We did um, Del Dillingham. Me, me, my mom, and my cousin, we did that hike. We did a pillbox hike. My cousin, my dad, my uncle, they did the Cocoa Head hike, which is like an old like train track is what it looks like that was naturally formed into like a staircase. So you, it's like a very steep incline up to the top of the mountain. And I think they told me, I think they said it was over like a thousand steps up to the top. Went to Pearl Harbor. That was amazing. One of my favorite things we did. I suggest if you, um, if you ever have the chance, you do it. It's just incredible. They make you watch like this short film before and it's just, it blows your mind because you don't really, at least I personally didn't realize I guess simple facts about Pearl Harbor that they tell you in that video clip. It's very emotional. Um, I'm going to go into my Visart Dark Matte Palette and I'm going to dip into these reds and oranges. I'm going to grab my Morphe R39. I think I'm going to go into this, like the orangey one first. Just to build up this color in my crease. So yeah, we did Pearl Harbor. We had a lot. We ate a lot of yummy food. I ate a lot of white jasmine rice which I love I love rice so into this crease right now I can't even think the more I think about it this is so similar to my last look that I did which makes me a little nervous that all red lid and was it a green it was a green and blue lower lash line I don't mean for it to be the same thing oh my god like how could I even forget I'm a moron I'm gonna dip into that darker color now we went zip lining the second week we went zip lighting. Oh my god, I'm such a moron. I'm a fool. Yes, we went zip lining. It was amazing. It was probably the one of my favorite parts. This we went zip lining with this company that was called Climbworks. If you ever go to Oahu and you go zip lining, you have to go with them. They had just very friendly, excited, well versed tour guides and staff that were you know they made us feel comfortable they gave us a laugh um, we had a good time we didn't want it to be over at the end you know that's how you know you have a good staff that they just made like the vibe was just so positive and so fun it was amazing so yes if you ever go to Oahu and you're gonna go ziplining you have to go with Climbworks the tour guides were so funny I felt so safe with them you know, I felt like, um, you know, they knew what they were doing when they were, um, like, 
harnessing me in, I guess you could say. I'm just going to take a packing brush and pack that dark color with a little bit of the orange all over my lid. Um, I was confident they knew what they were doing, and I felt very safe. So there were eight zip lines. We did the first one, which was kind of like a baby one. Oh my gosh, and it seems so scary when you're doing it until like you continue on and you realize like, I mean like it makes the first one seem like nothing by the end. And so they have you do the first one and then you get on this ATV and a staff member kind of drives you through the land and their forest giving you like little trivia and history and facts along the way and then showing you like to your left is our second longest the zip line that you're going to be doing today. Things like that. Um, our driver of our ATV had like really good music taste. I kept catching myself wanting to like ask her what song was playing, but I didn't want to be creepy. Um, and then she drives you up to the second zip line, and then they tell you the next time you touch the floor is going to be at the very end when we're done. And you're kind of like, holy shit. So you zip line your way through their like land all the way back down to the beginning. Now I'm just gonna do everything I did to this eye to this eye. I thought I was like over here like really impressed with myself. It's like the act of your messages being sent on to your loved ones. It was a very emotional, overwhelming experience, but I'm so happy, especially with the year that my family has had so far that we were able to go. Um, it was amazing. That and zip lining were by far two of my favorite things that we did. It was just so cool. And there was so many people there. I posted a picture on Instagram. And if you look like closely at the shoreline, it is covered with people. The news report like said that there are reported like 50,000 people there. And I absolutely believe it. There was so many freaking people. Okay, let's start our face makeup. I'm going to use my um, L'Oreal Pro Matte foundation because I'm an oily monkey right now and I'm using the shade 108 because I'm very dark from Hawaii. Pop that all over my face. I know this looks really like yellow and kind of orangey but after concealer and everything it'll blend. And I like to do portions of my skin one at a time because I don't want to put dots of foundation all over my face and then it start to set and dry which just makes it harder to blend. Okay so I've been doing this new like not new but it's new for me this concealer combination that I've been obsessed with because my Tarte Shape Tape is like super light on me because you know I'm like dark so what I do is I take my NYX HD concealer in the shade beige and I take a little bit of that and I put it right on the inner corner and then I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape I finally had to get a new one because I just scraped the last bit of the last one and then I put that on the out like a little bit further down and then I just take my damp Eco Tools sponge and I blend and I just love the way these two look together and it gives a nice highlighted look under my eyes super highlighted because of that tart shape tape like I said it is so light but I don't know how long I'm going to be this color so I don't want to like um holy shimmily this looks so light I don't know if it's because of like the really red eyeshadow but holy moly, that looks so freaking light. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We will figure this out. And then I'm going to take my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And I'm going to set that concealer. Oh my gosh. What did I do to myself? That's hilarious. You have to be able to laugh at yourself, right? Because that is freaking funny. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing to my other eye. And because I am like white as a ghost under my eyeballs, I'm going to use that beige concealer to highlight the rest of my face. How many people um, are going to be getting the Jaclyn Home Morphe palette? Just wondering. I'm just saying. 
You all know she's my queen of everything. She is basically my best friend. She just doesn't know it yet. It's one of those scenarios. And you know how she had mentioned. She had said that in her bundles of her um, brush like kit that she was going to be having like this silver ticket. And basically if you got a silver ticket, you would get like early, like an early access to her palette. Oh my God. I think I got mine in the mail. Right after, I bought it when I was in Hawaii. While we were in Hawaii, it shipped here. So it was waiting for me when I got here. I opened it. I didn't see the silver ticket. I probably didn't touch it for a solid week. I was so salty about it. I was like, nope, I'm not going to touch you. You didn't have the ticket. I want nothing to do with you. And then, you know, like I got over myself and I opened it and I loved it. Okay, so I took that concealer and I highlighted the center of my face. So the portions of my face that I want to highlight, to emphasize, that I want to bring forward. That is why you highlight. is It's the features of your face that you want to bring forward, that the sun would naturally hit and complement. I'm going to set it with my Ulta Press Face Powder and Banana, which I'm freaking almost out of. Do you see that? Like, I... I don't even think I'm getting anything out of it anymore, but... So I'm going to set that. My present from Gregory. The Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow Palette. He is just... I don't even know how he does it. I think he has, like, a hidden camera in my room to, like, hear me talk to myself. I'm obsessed with this. I watched reviews on it, and I don't know if it's me making myself like this because it's just beautiful and Natasha Denona can do no wrong in my eyes, but I just freaking love this. The contour shade, I use the cream and the powder contour. I'm gonna do that today. I didn't set all of my face, so I should be okay. The cream contour is not too cool. You know, it has a little bit of warmth to it, which you guys will see right now. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out just enough to give me a little bit of color. I'll go in again, a little bit further down this time, brushing upwards, and then go back with the beauty blender. I hope that doesn't look muddy in the camera because it looks freaking beautiful on my side, just saying, and, I don't, and I'm not being biased. Anyway, I like that it's not too cool. It will contour, but it will also give you some color and some warmth back to your face. So it's doing like a two-in-one. And I think partnered with the contour powder. So if I get any more tan, I'm not going to be able to use this because it's not going to be dark enough. He got me the medium tan, the light medium palette. So if that gives you any inclination of how this will work for you. Yeah. And then I'm going to take my Morphe R2 and I'm going to take the sculpting powder and I'm just going to go over that, the cream product. This is the softest freaking brush I have, I swear. I don't want to do like a super defined contour. I'm totally fine with brushing this on and just looking like a very bronze. After all, it is summertime. Oh, I had a tickle in my nose. If you guys see me do that during my videos, I'm not picking my nose. I just have, like, it tickles from all these powders and, like, my hair gets up in there and my nose are just nice and long. I could just stick it in there and scratch it. And, of course, Greg called me out for picking my nose, but I was not picking my nose. Freaking scratching it. You would want to scratch it, too, if you had an itch. J.S. And then I'm going to... You know, I'm just going to take the highlight, the, it's called the Japanese press powder. I'm going to take the, like, the banana shade. I'm just going to take that and brighten back up the center of my forehead because it kind of got a little dark from all the, so bright under my eyes, I can't even get over it. I'm going to use the Ofra brush, brush, Ofra blush in the shade Rendezvous. It's a very, like, warm, a very warm shade. I'm going to try... I'm going to try this Morphe M530. This is Jaclyn Hill's go-to blush brush. 
So, you know, I'm going to try it, but I have a backup just in case it doesn't work. Why did I even? Why did I doubt it? Really, Maya? It teaches you a lesson to never doubt. Never doubt J. Hill. I go a little heavy on the blush initially because that's the first part of your makeup that kind of rubs off and wears throughout the day. So because I take such a long time to get ready, that if I don't put on a little bit more than normal, by the time I leave my house, my blush is already gone. And by the time I get to where I need to go, my blush is already worn off a little bit. So if you put a little bit more on, it'll just last that much longer throughout the day. And I'm actually doing, thinking of doing like an updated like brow routine video. So my eyebrow pencil I'm going to use today is going to be the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate. Now, before you all sound off and yell at me, I know this is not my shade. It's a little too warm and red and light, so I do need to do the next shade darker, and I'm aware of that. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to spoolie through my hairs. And then I'm going to brush up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like line the bottom part of my brow. Not too harsh. I'm just going to lightly. And sometimes it's easiest to start where there's already hair. And I'm just going to spoolie the hairs back down and into place. Okay, now I'm going to follow my natural arch at the top, but just shade it in. I swear when I do my eyebrows, I feel like I cannot speak. Brows and eyeliner, man, I cannot speak or breathe or just blink when I do these. Okay, on to the next one. For some reason, this brow is so much easier for me. I have no idea why. Okay, so I'm going to spoolie them up. And then I'm going to follow that natural line of my brow. And then I'm just going to go in and fill in my top arch. And then, so what I do is the front, I brush up, and then I set these ones. And then I just, I comb them over, but I still want them to be a little bushy. You know, I don't want them to look stamped. I want it to be so you know that I have real brow hairs there. Okay, now I'm going to go back and do my lower lash line. And I'm so torn between whether or not I want to do blue or green. I think I'm going to do green, but I want it to be a very, like, yellowy bright green. So I have a few different greens that I'm going to swatch and then see what I want to do. I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this yellow in my um, Visart palette and I'm going to brush that on the, my bottom lash line. I'm going to take this yellow shade and just I'm going to generously look this on my lower lash line. Because in my inspo pick that I'm using, the green is like a neon yellow green. So that's what I want, but I don't have a green like that in my palettes. I mean, I could always keep it like this yellow if I'm too nervous. Because I'm really happy with my lid that I'm, I'm scared to like ruin it. Okay, so because I'm too scared that I'm going to ruin what I've done, I'm just going to keep it with a yellow lash line. It's a pop of color, just in a little bit of a different way gonna pack this orange yellow on and I think I'm gonna do no liner today just falsies I might throw some glitter on here too actually on my lower lash line because I have the Jouer skinny dip palette the skinny dip collection do you die oh my gosh look at that look at that 
I'm going to take this Morphe M213 and I'm going to take the shade Tan Lines and I'm just going to pack it in the very center of my lower lash line. That did nothing. <laughs> I think I need to be using these with a synthetic brush. I take tan lines first and then I add a little bit of skinny dip on top. Okay, so I went ahead and I curled my lashes. I applied the Too Faced liquid, uh, not liquid, the Too Faced waterproof mascara. And then I applied the Kim Tai Cake Face eyelashes. These are my favorite lashes. If I'm going to wear any fake lashes, it's going to be these ones. I'm obsessed with them. They hit this out of the park. I already have a backup. Don't tell me to stop wearing them because it's not going to happen. I'm going to use the Jouer Skinny Dip Highlight. I love this. It's the perfect summer highlight because once I lose my tan, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it. So I'm going to use the Sephora Pro Highlight Brush. Holy moly. Come on, you see that, right? Oh. I have diamonds on my face. That's what it is. Right there. Down the center. Inner corner and my eyebrow. Holy moly. Yes. And my go to lip combo lately has been the ColourPop Bound Lippy Pencil. And then I use the MAC Laura La Lee lipstick, the lipstick that Laura Lee created. And this is very light for me, so that's why I use it with a darker lip liner. You know what? I don't like this. This is too pink with this eye. Pause. Let me get a gloss real quick. As a fail, I definitely want like a more brown nude. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Totally Toffee lipstick and hopefully this. Well, I get more brown. Oh, I don't know. This is, I think this is too pink. What do you guys think? Eh, whatever. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot. I need to hit my lower lashes with mascara. I always forget to do that. I always smoke out my lower lash line, put product there. But I never put mascara on my lashes. And then they're just like naked whiskers hanging there. Meh. Anyway, this is the completed look. Thank you for rambling with me. Thank you for putting makeup on with me. This is a very lovely look for a Friday night out, an afternoon with the girls, lunch with your mom, or you know, what's today? Tuesday. Tuesday at 6.20 to go hop in the shower and then have a bowl of cereal because that's what I'm going to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for pressing play. We love you so, so much. And we hope to see you in our next video. Bye guys.